his essay. Yes, to stationary stores who must sell reams of writing paper, to insomniacs in need of a soporific, to the constipated tired of just counting bathroom tiles, to high school nerds on the make for honor roll girls instead of cheerleaders, to graduate students who need themes for doctoral theses, to college administrators who need low overhead courses, to magazine editors with here and there blank spaces to fill. What if all humanity were poets? All poets and no listeners, much like it is today. A universe of versifiers battling for supremacy, wars of words instead of bullets, maneuvers in metaphors, stratagems of similes, with different drummers each marching to his own free verse meter, scintillating syntax, rattling off the tongue as automatic fire, with rhyming poets being used as postmodern cannon fodder in frontal assaults against past literary traditions. Not Caesar, not Napoleon, but Shakespeare and Yeats, proclaimed as the world's greatest generals. But a war of words is still war. So for now, have mercy on poetry journals cursed with a cornucopia of submissions and a famine of subscriptions. <laughs> those soul-rousing, ear-numbing poets, those oxymorons of the intelligentsia, keep them hungry, keep them few, but most of all, keep them mostly unread. <laughs> Lady, look at that cattail reed there by the lake. Its cylindrical tip tip sideways, and without underpinning its head, bobs and sways when blown by every crisp current of wind. It seems to bow before another member of its species, which still stands tall and is seemingly faultless. Our broken reed tries to reach its neighbor. Perhaps it will brush against it. But the same wind which blows our crooked stick so close also blows its faultless friend away, so like swaying cilia they touch only briefly at their tips. Lady, my fingertips briefly brush your hair, but you bob and weave away so skillfully. Lady, lady, I confess love but all you do is listen so courteously. <laughs> Downloading porno pics from the net. <laughs> Shakespeare, Socrates, NASA Science Library. Who am I kidding? <laughs> like a Ouija board, the mouse slides to my real desire, to Bianca's smut shack. I point the cursor to my iconic lady, click, open her, and behold the pixel princess of wet dreams. Use a credit card and for 12 bucks you get the monthly password for midnight, midnight auto erotic company without any auto at hand. Renews automatically, like those long ago speakeasies where you whispered the password then sip fermented fruit. Oh, if she were only in the flesh and charging me by the hour. Better yet, I play a supporting role as her co-star for free. Suddenly I wish my Macintosh really were a luscious apple. But I can save her on my drive, hard or floppy. Floppy? Not if she can help it. Besides, floppy is passe. <laughs> now with flash drives, I keep my hard drive in real time. The drop-down menu coldly asks, save file as, and like Adam, I can name my Eve. 